Here's part two of our conversation with the great John Lodge. We're honored to have our special guest on this new series. Remember, with John Lodge, if you want to see the entire video, the entire interview, check out Rock History Book, our sister station, or the podcast. Links in the description of this video. Also, keep in mind, we talked to John Lodge two days before we lost Graham Edge. So if he talks about Graham in the present tense, you'll understand why. Here's John Lodge of the Moody Blues. You and Ray went back to what? You were 14 when you met him? Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, Ray, Ray used to sing on a Thursday at the Methodist School Youth Club in a little band. Uh, and you sing, and uh, I used to go there, and not be, be part of a table tennis, I think, or to, I got uh, But I didn't know Ray, I, I knew what he did there. And I met him one day, uh, I think, on the bus. And I said, are you Ray Thomas? And he said, yeah. I said, I'm Johnny Lodge. Uh, basically, shall we band? And uh, we did. And we became great mates. And I, I taught Ray to drive a car. That's where friendly and young we were. You know, it's uh, I passed my test long before him. And uh, I, I taught him to drive. Not very well, actually, <laughs> but I did. And uh, more than that, his parents and my parents became great friends because of us. And they shared holidays together and uh, Christmases and all that. It was amazing to see what actually happened when uh, this relationship with Ray and I grew. And uh, in his children... Uh, still on Facebook with my kids, you know, it's it's been a wonderful family uh, journey. What's the status of the band right now? Is is there a band? Are you guys retired as far as a band? Is there anything you can share? I don't know what, where the Moody Blues are, to be honest. And uh, we've still got the same office. We've still got Threshold Records, so we've still got the same people working for us and they're in touch with us all, all the while, obviously. But as far as the Moody's were concerned, I know, I really no idea. And that's why I wanted to put this album out there, um, keeping the Moody Blues music alive, because there's an audience out there who wants to listen and there's a musician it'd be who wants to play it. <laughs> Do you still talk to the other guys, the two other guys? Uh, I was with, I am spoken to Justin for a while, but the pandemic, pandemic really has changed everything, you know. Justin lives in Monaco, uh, so it, it's, it, it's physically not possibly really to even travel. But I was with Graham last week, uh, spent a couple of hours with Graham uh, at his home and we had a, few laughs and, uh, you know, talking about the old times. And I gave him the new album because, uh, you know, he's done the, the uh, recorded the, the poem. And uh, so we, it was great to be with Graham. Did you ever pick up the instrument and then you, you wanted to be a kid? Was there ever a time in your life that you were like that? I, I never got into music until I was 13 years of age. Um, um, it didn't really, really interest me at all. Um, and it's only when rock and roll turned up and the jukebox, and I could hear the driving left hand piano of people like uh, Fats Domino, Little Richard, Jerry Lee Lewis, and all those people. Um, that's when it hit me, you know, and uh, yeah, so I, I really knew what I wanted to do then. He has a brand new album. Links in the description of this video. John Lodge does, that is. Make sure you comment on our video, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music.